myself dr s meenakshi uh, associate professor in chemistry uh, ks ks college of technology so we are uh, today we are seeing about what is the estimation of hornus uh, by edta method this method is also called complexometric method why it is called a complexometric method it uh, it forms a complex a uh, stable and unstable complex are formed during the reaction so we now we estimate what is the principle is used means the hornus we are estimating the hornus producing substance the water is containing calcium ions and magnesium ions magnesium 2 plus ions is present in the water it is called a hot water so now we are estimating is hornus of uh, hornus of this water so for this uh, principle where this uh, how water is used to treat with an ebt indicator so this indicator is reacted with at a uh, particular ph so uh, to maintain the ph the buffer solution is added the calcium and magnesium ions reacted with ebt at a constant ph it forms a unstable colorless uh, colored solution complex so this complex is a weak complex so this solution is titrated with edta it forms a stable complex with uh, colorless it is the indicator is set free so this is the principle is used uh, in this titration so what is the procedure for, for for this experiment we are doing three experiments three titrations for the first titration is standardization of edta so for the standardization of edta pipette spirit solution is taken as edta and pipette solution is standard hot water standard hot water means 1 gram of calcium carbonate is dissolved in 1 liter of water so indicator is aerochrome black tea is used an additional solution ammonia buffer is main, used to maintain the ph 8 to 10 so because this 8 to 10 the P, 8 to 10 ph the complex is formed in this reaction so uh, during the reaction the end point we are achieved uh, color changes from wine red to steel blue so this is the first titration for standardization of edta for the during second titration estimation of total hornus the same edta is taken in the burette uh, but pipette solution is taken as standard uh, sample hot water the same indicator and uh, ammonia buffer is added uh, getting the same end point also wine red to steel blue and the, for the third titration estimation of permanent hornus so for the estimation of permanent hornus water is boiled and filtered and the filtrate is taken as a pipette solution so the same edta and the indicator is a aerochrome black tea buffer is added to maintain the ph and the same color end point is observed wine red change to steel blue for this all the titration we are taking as calcium carbonate is equivalent so the calcium carbonate equivalent weight is 50 so this is a calculation procedure for this experiment for the next we are doing the calculation where it is divided into four parts so first part the standardization of edta for the first titration the volume of edta were noted as v1 ml and 1 ml of standard hot water is containing 1 milligram of calcium carbonate so 20 ml of standard hot water is also contains 20 milligram of calcium carbonate so to simplify this reaction 1 ml of edta is, is equal to 20 by v1 milligram of calcium carbonate so this is used this equation is used for to calculate the standardization of edta so for the next calculation is total hornus for the total hornus sample hot water is taken uh, with it is titrated with edta the volume of edta is noted as v2 ml this v2 ml is whatever may be as uh, so n so is we have assumed that it is v2 ml so 20 ml of hot water is consumes v2 ml of edta so already we know that first titration 1 ml of edta is equal to 20 by v1 milligram of calcium carbonate so 1 ml so for this calculation we are replacing this one for v2 ml for this is for 20 ml so and it is converted into 1 liter so 1000 ml of hot water sample is containing 20 by v1 into v2 into 1000 by 20 so this is a calculation for estimation of hornus so simplify this equation total hornus is equal to v2 by v1 into 1000 milligram these 22 20s are cancelled so v2 by v1 into 1000 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent instead of calcium carbonate uh, milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent we are using simply is ppm or milligrams per liter for the third calculation 
estimation of permanent hardness. So already I told, uh, if we take the pipette solution as a boiled water sample. So this boiled water sample is titrated with EDTA. This EDTA solution, EDTA volume is noted as here V3 ml. So this 20 ml of boiled water sample is consumes V3 ml of EDTA. So the first titration already we calculated 1 ml of EDTA is equal to 20 by 1 V1 milligrams of calcium carbonate. To substituting this, the 1000 ml of boiled water sample we calculated is 20 by V1 into V3 by 20 into 1000. We simplify this calculation 20 and 20 is cancelled. So permanent hardness is equal to V3 by V1 into 1000 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent or ppm or milligrams per liter. For the final stage, this is the fourth step. Uh, first one we are calculating standardization of EDTA. Second titration we are calculating uh, total hardness of water sample, given water sample. And third one we are calculating uh, permanent hardness of boiled water sample. So the fourth step we are calculating estimation of temporary hardness. So temporary harness means it is total harness means temporary harness plus permanent harness. So we are calculating a temporary harness, total harness minus permanent harness. So we are subtracting this total harness and permanent harness. So simplify the equation by getting 1000 into V2 minus V3 divided by V1 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So based on that this titration and calculation, we are estimate the amount of harness that meaning is the presence of calcium and magnesium ions is calculated during uh, uh, using this EDTA titration. Thank you.